if it's July, it must be Christmas or at least our annual Christmas in July challenge. Hello, everybody. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing. And this is day seven of our annual Christmas in July challenge. Do you give gifts to teachers, daycarers, the Garbo? Perhaps you like to thank staff in the post office for always being there and always being cheerful, no matter how long and cranky the queue is. Or you may have a gift exchange at work or even your craft group. I like to take a little something to our local CFA brigade and the lovely staff at our family doctors at Christmas time. And if I'm not careful, and if you're not careful, those little gifts can add up and put quite a dent in your Christmas budget. So it's Christmas in July and we're going to start saving now, $2, $5 a week to cover those gifts. But while you're saving, look around for suitable gifts on sale on the reduced to clear trolleys um, or gifts that you can make that will fit within your budget. Search op shops, um, $2 shops, discount department stores, um, local markets and garage sales, school fates if we can ever have them again, even, you know, online. With time and ready cash, you'll be able to find the perfect gift for the Garbo and the post office staff. And you'll be able to give your child's teacher a gift that they'll, they'll really love, something that's practical that they can use that won't clutter up their, their home or their classroom. Or you can keep on watching our Christmas in July series and make one of the quick, easy, cheap, amazing, useful, no clutter gift ideas I have coming up for you. If you know someone who might like our Christmas in July challenge or who might like to know more about the Cheapskates Club, please use the share link, share button underneath me here to send them the link. And I'll be back tomorrow with day eight of our Christmas in July challenge. Oh my God.